Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video, I have got a really cool product from Vanguard. Uh, this is a monopod, not a tripod, it hasn't got three legs, well it's got three feet at the bottom, uh, but this is in fact a monopod and it's very, very useful for those situations where you might not be able to take a tripod into an event or on location, or a monopod can actually be used for very useful sort of video uh, trickery as well. I'll explain a little bit further during this video. But alas, this is a live broadcast, so I want to say a big hello to all those of you tuning in live. Thank you very much for tuning in live. Rob, first in the live chat. If you want to communicate with me throughout this video, please do use the live chat. If you're watching afterwards, use the regular comments section below. Full disclaimer, Vanguard sent this out to me free of charge for this video. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular. And also they haven't asked to see this video before publication, which would be difficult because it is live. So all of the opinions expressed are indeed my own. Now I've used monopods for many years. They're really good in a couple of situations. And uh, the first really good situation for a monopod, uh, back long, long time ago when I used to do concerts, is that many concert venues won't allow you to take a tripod in, but you can normally, obviously check the back of the tickets, but you can uh, sometimes take in a tripod. And I've even had, uh, sorry, a monopod. And I have even had tech events that I've been covering for Geekanoids, where actually in the terms and conditions of the tickets where you couldn't take a tripod in, but monopods were indeed uh, okay to take into the event. They take up a lot less space as well. Uh, and they're really useful for both photography and video use. Now this particular one, let's give you a little guide round. This one is the Vanguard VO2 AM264TR. Uh, you don't have to remember that, of course, it is in the title of the video. And if you want to pick up this particular monopod for yourself, then do check out the links down in the video description as well. Uh, there's also a link there to the Vanguard website. So let's give you a little bit of a close-up of this. There you can see the model name on the tripod. Again, just to remind you, it's the VO2 AM264TR. Uh, really nice looking monopod. I'll show you it in action in a short while. Also inside the box, you do get a little Allen key to keep things nice and tight, and also some instructions as well. Um, you shouldn't need to use the Allen keys, but if you do, there are some bits that can become loose over time. So let's start off with the bottom, the base. I've got the three little feet obviously kicked out, ready to stand this up on the desk or the floor. And to make these uh, a little bit more compact for uh, transporting, you just pull out and then they go up into this up position. So you just pull out and then they go up into the up position and then again on the last one, and then this is how you would transport it. So this is in its smallest form factor. It's very, very light. Uh, and to obviously get these feet back down, you just pull them back down and they clip into place. So that's the first thing. So this is at its shortest and it is indeed a three section tripod. So we can turn these just here and then we can extend this out. And each section is roughly about the same size and then we can lock it back down. And then again, we can do it with this one and lock it back down. And now we are into a position where I can actually put this on the floor and it's already at a really good height. Let's just lock this back down. And then again, we can undo this last one. And then we're roughly, oh dear, I didn't lock that one back down. We're roughly at about my head height. So that is pretty good. That is very, very good indeed. Really good. So let's just collapse this back down, just to a more manageable height. And we go for it round about that height. And we will just do this one here. Round about, let's do this one about this height. There we go. So we're roughly at the right level for you seeing what I'm going to do next. So now what we can do is show you this top section. So we've got a grip part on the monopod. This is like a, a rubber around this to make it easy for carrying. We've also got a carry sort of strap here and we've also got a caravan clip. So you could clip this onto a bag or something like that for easy carrying. And then we've also got a cover. So this cover 
reveals a normal tripod threaded mount. Now normally uh, you would put, or, or in my use case, I would put like a ball head on here, a small ball head. But for the purposes of this review, I'm just gonna put the camera directly on here. So it would be a lot easier with a ball head of course, but you can mount it directly. And there we go. So now this is mounted to the monopod. And you can see, even when I let go, that is pretty stable. So it's giving you a nice sort of uh, uh, stability to the camera for taking photos. Uh, and of course, if you need to sort of change the angle, you can change where you're sort of pointing the camera, move it about. And this is where it really comes into its own for video use as well. Because if you're using this for video, you can very carefully just sort of angle backwards. I'm sort of rotating back on the uh, two back feet of the tripod. And if I wanted to do sort of a slow sort of movement in the video, I can actually use the monopod to great effect just to get very smooth movements. And another thing you can use it for, which is also very useful, is if I actually collapse this back down to a smaller form factor, like so, you can actually use this for extra sort of stability when you're holding the camera. It acts as a sort of an extra weight down here and gives you a lot smoother movement if you were hand holding this for video. So it's got lots and lots of uses. So now it's sort of acting as a, as a counterweight or counterbalance down here to give me some really smooth movements. Not as good as a proper gimbal, but certainly it does help. Now let's just stand this back up on the table here. So under this weight, it would of course accommodate a much heavier camera. This is a Panasonic Lumix FZ1000 Mark II, but of course you could use this for a mirrorless camera uh, or a DSLR and it would accommodate it. Uh, there's a little bit of movement in the bottom here. There is also a, um, a possibility here where you can actually unscrew this from the base as well. So it's got lots and lots of uses, something like this, but certainly for photography, and videography, a monopod is a really great tool. I really do like it. It's a great design, it's nice and lightweight, nice and affordable as well. Don't forget to check out those links. Uh, and a really good alternative to a tripod because that's very stable. Okay, I wouldn't walk off and leave my camera in a, a busy place sort of mounted on something like this. I wouldn't just walk away because if somebody did knock it, it is going to topple over a lot easier than a tripod. But certainly for uh, for quick and easy use when you're in a sort of tight space and you haven't got room to put the tripod legs out. Maybe you're at a venue where you're seated and you can just tuck this down in between your legs and then you've just got the three feet on the ground sort of underneath you. Very, very good indeed. A really good option for getting some nice stable photos and also a really good option for stabilizing your video footage as well. This is the Vanguard VO2 AM264TR. It's a nice lightweight monopod, very well built. I love the quick release twist grips as well, and it all works extremely well indeed. It's a really good tool to have in your photography bag. That's it for this video. Uh, before I close the video, I do just wanna say a big hello to Daniel, who's tuned in live as well uh, in the live chat, uh, asking how my day's going. My day's off to an early start but I'm wishing you a great day as well. This has been broadcast on a Monday, so have a fantastic week ahead, everybody. If you're in the market for a monopod, check out the links down in the video description, also a link to the Vanguard website. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And of course, I'll see you in another video very, very soon. In fact, probably, let me just grab this box, probably see you in about two or three minutes. Hmm.